One of my favorite places to be underneath the car. I don't know, for some reason it just relaxes me. Even though sometimes it stresses me out, I guess, because I keep blowing shit up. But if I didn't blow things up, you wouldn't have these horribly awesome videos that people are <laughs> spad vision. <laughs> Whoever said that one, that was good. I liked it. Well, anyway, so here I am under the car. Um, basically, I'm going to start putting everything back together. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to grab my sway bar here and uh, I'm going to mount my sway bar back up and in and then from there then I'm going to put my header back on uh, so I'm just going to kind of loosely attach this up there just for now I'm not going to do anything crazy so what I'll do is uh, Take off these. Oops. Take the nuts off the side here. Take the nut off the other side. Alright. And then I'm just gonna. Alright. Place this side in. Into the subframe. the nut on. Okay, grab this side. Uh, do the same thing. Beautiful. Bam. Screw the nut on. Alright. That'll just stationary it. So, now I got my sway bar. It's just dangling. I can move it back here. It's going to give me room to put my header on. So make sure you don't hit yourself with that. Alright. And we're going to grab our header. This is why someday I want to have my own shop and a freaking hoist. Makes life a lot easier. Alright. So, here's my header. Drag that back. Alright, so now all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to mount our header up. I changed my mind. I'm going to bolt the header in on this side first. Put it on the flange. With one bolt in, now I can go up there. So we got uh, got our header temporarily held down here. It's only five bolts to a K series header, which is kind of nice. Uh -huh. So right now, just got two nuts kind of holding it on. If you don't know, these are all 14 millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and. Get these tightened down a little, not like super tight, but enough that it pulls the header flat against the head. It's gonna make it easier. Alright, there's one. Oops. And. Sitting on the engine. But either way, you know, hanging out. 
Uh, you want to start in the center and work your way out, just like I said before, with like your intake manifold, and and later we will for the valve covers. So we're just gonna tighten these down. Start inside. Work the way outwards. Back across. If you're wondering about my ground, it's not there. I uh, eliminated the ground from the front. It's actually mounted on the supercharger. If you're wondering, part of my wire tuck. start in the center here. I'm just going to slowly start bringing these down. Okay, start from the inside. Work your way out. So being boosted, um, I'm not going to run the stock plugs. I'm running the BKR9-8 EIX Theoridiums. Extra spark plug tools 
if you're still using the old school sockets with the rubber inserts, man, you need to upgrade to one of these. It's a magnetic spark plug um, socket. It's so much nicer because a lot of times when I pull the old spark plug off, the rubber doesn't want to come out or the rubber sticks onto the plug. Plus, this holds it just nice. So when I'm putting it down, I don't have to drop it or anything else. Some people use a rubber hose and connect the spark plug to a hose and then stick it in there. And this comes off nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do each one by hand first. Just get them down in there. Beautiful. I'm not going to crank my spark plug down. Just simply going to ratchet it on there and tighten it down. Alright, I got those all in there. My valve cover is all nice and neat. I'm going to grab my coils. Go ahead, take my coils, alright, grab my bag of parts here, the Passenger side one is a normal bolt, and the middle one is also, which I would hope you knew that. And then the middle one and the driver's side are the ones with the studs on it. Come back over here, grab my ratchet. Again, not much pressure, just trying to tighten it down. The coils aren't really going to go anywhere. Beautiful. Now, my favorite part. Mmm, sexy. barely tightened down. Right. And last but not least, shablam! Pretty much now, all I gotta do is uh, fill her full of fluids, get me a belt, and I can start this sucker. Um, Maybe I'll make a thing on fluids and then starting. So I guess I'll cut this one off for video 7. Look for video 8. Night.